Alright, action. Hey, you're your dear channel, Robbie Sarger here, bringing you guys a deck profile. Uh, thank you for letting me know from the channel, of course, and um, I'd like to go show you guys the deck. It's a creation uh, my friend Alex, Rock, and I made together uh, last format, but we recreated it for this format, and I figured I'd play this deck since I'm letting my friend Barra Tor got to today, so we'll get into it. The deck is called ADD. We'll see why it's called ADD in exile. We're playing E Heroes with Stratos, Double Diamond Dude, Double Malicious, One Doom Lord. Uh, the Doom Lord gets your out versus Christia, so, and he's a three star, so you can sink and do better plays with him, so it's better uh, overall. We got one Ice Edge, he kills back rows, and uh, he's a water for zero, so his effect's really relevant. Two Diva, I have always hated three Diva, and I hate uh, a lot of the other cards that came out recently, the other Sea Serpents, so Diva basically helps you um, combo with Mali, and it's a water for zero. We play one Reese, it's a strong out versus Christia, um, and it's just a good tuner to have in the main board. And the other half of the deck that you may get confused about is the Samurai part. I play one Kaigeki. Um, he normally gets sided out after game one, but drawing him into the game one lets me get the two Kagumesho so I can make a Shien really easily. We play two Elder of the Six Samurai that helps me be able to special summon. And the reason why he's in here with him, I play Aestheticism. I'll show you an example in a second. And I play one Kizan that lets me do the Trishula play that the deck needs to play, and um, he's a really powerhouse card. Spells, there are plenty number of spells. We got one Future Fusion. Um, Future Fusion basically gets you Shining, Adoration, or Gaia. That's basically all you ever go for in here. These are the best two. Uh, he's just there for Miracle Fusion plays. So we got one Instant Fusion. Instant Fusion uses Mariner because Mariner gets good with uh, zero. And you have one Fusionist. Uh, Fusionist helps let you sink into Nicheria Beast. So that is in there for that. We have one reinforcement of the army. Searches the entire deck except for Diva, Mallies, and uh, Reese, so it helps out circle, cycle through the deck really quickly. And same with the one uh, smoke signal. We have double aestheticism. It's basically the teleport of the deck. This deck plays exactly like Teledad. Uh, it's just it's insanely quick. You have two destiny draws. It's your draw card of the deck. It helps thin the deck out quicker and get your Mali in graveyard so you can just do the combo pieces. We got two duality. Uh, three kind of seemed overkill, so two seemed better. And with Thunder King being such a prevalent card during the format, duality could be dead if they turn one Thunder King use. So setting the duality as a bluff also is really good. You have two Miracle Fusions. Uh, Miracle Fusion basically lets you bring out uh, zero, so you can win the game a lot quicker. Uh, you have a staple of two MST. I don't like three, and uh, Ice Edge kills back row as well, so it's okay. Heavy Storm, Heavy Storm, it's just Heavy Storm. Same with Dark Hole, uh, Monster Reborn, and Mind Crush, Mind, mind Control. Uh, you have six tuners in the deck, so Mind Control does its job of helping you get out of the way, and you can exceed with this deck. Uh, and then last but not least are the Traps. Best trap of the format, Trap Dust Shoot. Early game Trap Dust Shoot, or a really timed Trap Dust Shoot can win you the game completely by crippling your opponent. We have the Solemn Brigade. It's too good not to play, especially in the format where Agents is a really huge deck, and this just helps against Agents. We have two Fiendish Chains. Uh, shout out to my friend Alex, who helped me create the deck. We worked on it last night, and he said this card um, basically is another warning versus Agents, so I agreed with him, and it actually is working really well. And then one Torrential Tribute. Uh, Torrential lets me um, control the field, and it's basically another way to not lose the game quickly. Uh, side decks basically just standard crap. Uh, extra deck, I only have the one Leviathan. Uh, extra deck's so tight on space. As you can see, all of these fusion monsters right here, it's tight on space. You have your generic synchro monsters here. 
And then you have your two aestheticismable uh, synchros that can control the game really easily and just shut down your opponent. Um, the extra deck's probably the hardest thing to actually make with this deck. Uh, last night we tried Mass Change in the build with Element of the Ocean and Vapor. And it just wasn't as consistent and I wanted it to be 41 instead of 42 so I figured I'd cut it down to this number. Uh, the deck is again called ADD, called Aesthetics and Economy. Um, what is your worst matchup? Uh, I don't know yet. I yeah. made the deck last night, so... Well, the new version last night, so I don't know. Um, with the last version, how many... What duels... What decks did you lose to the most? Uh, probably... The Keepers. The Keepers. And probably the mirror match of Samurai's, so... That's about it, really. Now Samurai's are more crippled, so... I can be able to, like, pop off the next day. What's the best thing about the deck? Um, the combos are kind of cool, and... It kind of reminds me of Talladega. Like, it's the feeling of Talladega. Attention, players! Anything? If you want me to put up the parachute, not to move on the <laughs> anything, anything else you want to say? Uh, give it a shot. Um, this is Thomas Wiggy here. <laughs> yep. So that's about it. And uh, subscribe to my channel, MechVamp6. So, check it out. Right. No Team Empire. No Team Empire. <laughs>